Topping our morning rush, fire crews are keeping an eye on a new wildfire, this time 45 miles outside of Grants in the Cibola National Forest. According to Cibola County Sheriff Tony Mace, the Sierra Bandera fire broke out around 11 o'clock yesterday morning. The fire is more than 300 acres in size. So far, it's destroyed two structures, one home and one cabin. The good news here is a new crew is now helping with mop up and hot spots this morning. The Black Fire is now the second largest wildfire in New Mexico history. It continues to grow this morning. The fire surpassed the 2012 Whitewater Baldy Complex blaze by about 500 acres. The Black Fire is now a whopping 298,000 acres. At last check, this fire is 44% contained. In the meantime, the largest fire in state history, the Hermit's Peak Cap Canyon Fire near Mora, is holding steady at just below 320,000 acres in size. Fire officials say higher humidity and recent precipitation are largely responsible for the drop in the fire activity in this area. This fire is up to 66% containment. Erica. And here's a look at our hourly forecast for the morning commute. Temperatures are in the mid 60s now. We'll climb into the low 70s by 8 and warm up quickly throughout the morning. So get out early before we get way too hot this afternoon for any outdoor activities. All right, some important information to pass along. Deadlines are quickly approaching for disaster assistance for those of you who are impacted by the wildfires. The deadline for disaster SNAP benefits for food is June 13th. The deadline to apply for disaster unemployment is June 15th. FEMA applications must be submitted by July 5th. We have more details for you on our website, KRQE.com. This morning, we're learning more details about the January 6th Capitol attack following the first of many hearings on Capitol Hill. The House panel showed uh, Trump administration officials, including former Attorney General William Barr. Several hearings are already planned. As of right now, we know the next two are scheduled for this coming Monday and on Wednesday. Keep your eyes out for letters from the IRS. CP14 letters will be making their way out to taxpayers believed to, to have underpaid. If you get a CP14 letter, you have 21 days to make the full payment. Erica. And here's a look at our threat index. It is lower today. We will see those very hot temperatures. Heat advisory is in effect for southeast New Mexico, so be sure to stay hydrated. And fire danger is going up as these temperatures warm up. A career criminal and convicted killer is likely to be released from custody in the coming weeks. Yesterday, Martin Copeland was back in court, the state arguing he is too dangerous to be released. Judge Stan Whitaker, though, did not grant that motion, but he's not being let out just yet. Copeland will be held for seven days while the prosecution team petitions to have him committed to the psychiatric hospital in Las Vegas through the Department of Health. This morning, all five teens accused in a deadly case of mistaken identity are in custody and charged. The fifth suspect, 16-year-old Adam Cedillo, was taken into custody yesterday. He is one of three teen boys accused of opening fire on an SUV back in March at the Maverick gas station at I-25 in Comanche, killing Kayla Montano. A New Mexico man is finally indicted after being accused in a gruesome crime in 2020. You might remember this story. Stephen Gonzalez was arrested in 2020 but was not indicted by a grand jury until this week. According to investigators, Gonzalez shot Eddie Artiaga in the head before decapitating and dismembering him. Gonzalez is charged with second degree murder this morning. Erica. And here's a look at the traffic maps. They are clear. No accidents or slowdowns to report. And tracker is around the Big Eye area, and everything's moving along there. Take a look at this story. An Arizona man going viral on TikTok for his cooking skills. Though it's not about the food he makes, it's how he's making it. The man is using his hot car to cook up something new every day. Not in the kitchen. He's foregoing on that, going straight to the car right in the middle of a hot day. The 20-year-old has over 2 million followers on TikTok and growing. And time now for the five facts. You don't know what you have to travel. You don't have to travel any further than the heart of Albuquerque to see the world famous Sistine Chapel. Michelangelo's Sistine Chapel, the exhibition features life size featuring replicas of Michelangelo's iconic 16th century frescoes like the creation of Adam, David and Goliath, and the Last Judgment. The exhibit opens at the public to the public today at Expo New Mexico. Number four this morning, all five teens accused in a deadly case of mistaken identity have been arrested. The fifth suspect, 16 year old Adam Sadio, was taken into custody yesterday. He is one of five teens accused of opening fire on an SUV in March 
at the Maverick gas station at I-25 in Comanche, killing Kayla Montano. And at number three, we're warming up today. Highs will be in the 90s and 100s all across the state. Black Fire is now the second largest fire in New Mexico history. It continues to grow this morning. The fire surpassed the 2012 Whitewater Baldy Complex fire by about 500 acres in size. It is now a whopping 298,000 acres. At last check, it's 44% contained. Finally, number one for you this morning, a career criminal and convicted killer is likely to be released from custody in the coming weeks. You might remember him from a story we did last year when Martin Copeland was charged with breaking and entering after a woman found him asleep in her bed. The case was dismissed. However, However, he was arrested three more times between August and October for burglary. Yesterday, he was back in court. The state arguing he's too dangerous to be released. The judge did not grant that motion. They're now asking the Department of Health to step in.